Twenty-five years ago, an idea was born, an idea to create a professional association for psychiatric mental health nurses. That idea was APNA, and now, 25 years later, that idea for a professional association has grown to an organization of professionals of over 7,600 members. With passion and pride, here is some of their story. I always think of Dr. Peplau um, as being a person who helped us to think about psychiatric mental health nursing in a very different way. The greatest strength for APNA, I think, is being built on the philosophy of Hildegard Peplau and Grace Sills. APNA has been the face and the voice of psychiatric nurses, psychiatric nursing leaders, and the wonderful collaboration between psychiatric nurses and other disciplines. APNA provides us with kind of a, um, a collective voice as opposed to an individual voice. So you feel like you have some way to make a difference in larger arenas. Number one, our greatest strength is the commitment of our members. Well, I know where it was without APNA. So <laughs> it's a, uh, a very, very positive thing and probably, in my opinion, one of the best things that happened to psychiatric nursing. APNA's greatest strength is undoubtedly the members. We have really in, uh, incredible, impressive members. APNA has many strengths. Uh, the greatest strength, I think, when we look at now the over 7,000 members, is the commitment of all of those members and working with the board of directors and, and the staff to really have a shared vision for psychiatric nursing for today and for the future. And I believe that without APNA, the psychological and psychiatric component in nursing practice would simply fade away. APNA has really helped move the field of psych nursing forward. Our strength is our infrastructure, the quality of our people, and then our focus on education of psych nursing. APNA has really brought the specialty back to prominence not only within the nursing profession, but also with the importance of what we do to healthcare in general. I think APNA's greatest strength is um, helping us to see as psychiatric nurses that um, we are powerful and that we can make a difference. There's a real need for someone who thinks very boldly and in a visionary way, and I think APNA has always had its share of those people. APNA is an organization that appropriately represents the views of the practicing psychiatric nurse. We couldn't be um, the discipline we are without APNA. Uh, APNA's greatest strength is that it does uh, reach out to psychiatric and mental health nurses through its conferences APNA's greatest strength, I think, lies in, in, in our ability to maintain our diversity and to be a diverse group and yet speak with one voice in so many arenas. It's such a strong area for, for AFNA to, for us to be able to make these kinds of recommendations to the field um, for what should be uh, practice standards. We 
have the uncanny ability to get into nooks and crannies and affect conversations, dialogues, to get the business of patient care done. I think that APNA's leadership has been crucial to the advancement of psychiatric nursing at both the registered nurse and at the advanced practice level. The strength has then uh, mushroomed by bringing other notable people in the field together and having really strong thought leadership. APNA members are courageous and innovative leaders. Our APNA. Let's celebrate our past, but let's look to the future, a future that we hold in our hands and one that together will see many more years of achievement and success. We are the American Psychiatric Nurses Association.